Hello friends, I am Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medico's Hub. This is a series of 5 lectures on face. In first lecture, arterial supply will be discussed. In second lecture, venous supply of face will be there. In third lecture, dangerous area of face will be discussed. In the fourth lecture, nerve supply of face will be discussed. And in the last lecture, I will discuss the Bell's palsy. Now, the arterial supply of face. Arterial supply of face is mainly contributed by the facial artery, transverse facial artery and some cutaneous branches of the face. Now, this is external carotid artery. This is facial artery. So, facial artery originates from the external carotid artery in the carotid triangle just above the lingual artery this is lingual artery and also it is just above the tip of the greater cornua of the hyoid bone thereafter it is covered over by the ramus of the mandible and it turns around the base of the mandible by piercing the masseter and it enters the facial part. Here it is also known as anesthetics artery because it is easily palpable here. Then it runs upwards and anteriorly just 1.25 centimeter behind the corner of the mouth and then reaches lateral to the nasal cavity or uh, lateral to the nose then it reaches upwards and ends as the angular vein. So this is the facial artery. The branches of facial artery are there are anterior branches. Anterior branches include this one. This is inferior labial artery which supplies the lower lip this is superior labial artery superior labial artery supplies the upper lip and antero inferior part of nasal septum So, inferior level artery supplies lower lip and the superior level artery supplies the upper lip and antero inferior part of nasal septum. Then it ascends upwards and it is termed as angular artery. Angular artery is basically the terminal part of the facial artery which anastomos with the dorsal nasal branch or dorsal nasal artery of the ophthalmic artery. This is ophthalmic artery which is it is giving the dorsal nasal branch and anastomosing with the angular artery of the facial artery. Many posterior branches are also given by the facial artery but these are small and unnamed. One additional branch is also there that is lateral nasal this is the lateral nasal this lateral nasal artery supplies the lateral part of the nose nasal ala and the dorsum of the nose so basically there are three anterior branches inferior labial artery superior labial artery and the lateral nasal artery one is the terminal branch that is angular artery and some posterior branches are also there which are small and unnamed. So these are the branches of facial artery. Now the anastomosis of facial artery. Facial artery, the branches of facial artery basically anastomose with the uh, same artery of opposite side. So there is a very wide anastomosis and a very uh, heavy anastomosis is formed especially in the lips. Now another artery is this that is transverse facial artery 
Transfacial artery is basically the branch of super, superficial temporal artery and when after coming out of the parotid gland it runs between the zygomatic arch and the duct of the parotid gland and it ends by anastomosing with the branches like uh, so, uh, infraorbital or the posterior branches of the facial artery. So this is transverse facial artery. So this is the arterial supply of face. So hit the like button, share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications.